Good morning, and welcome to an all-new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Brian Nuevo. And I'm Kaya Whitney. In the last weeks, we've covered the anticipated return of Roosevelt High School's Sadie Hawkins Dance and its potential cancellation. Although originally scheduled for tonight, student government has officially canceled the dance due to low ticket sales. But members told us they do plan to reimburse students who did buy a ticket. So we've been doing, instead of ticket sales, we've been doing ticket registration. So we have all the information on our computer system. So tomorrow we're going to be pulling students in during their lunch period and we're just going to reimburse them their full, we'll just give them the cash that they paid for their ticket. And we've got exactly how much they paid. So we've got passes that students are printing up right now. Hopefully we'll make that as easy of a process as possible and we just really want to thank the students that did purchase tickets and so we're going to do a face to face so we make sure that they get their money back and also that we, we tell them thank you for their support. I think the biggest factor of it is because it, it wasn't a formal dance so since it wasn't a formal dance it wasn't considered a big dance but we were, we were trying to make Sadie's into a bigger dance but I guess it just didn't really work out and that's not what the school wanted. Upcoming dances like Junior Prom remain scheduled and unaffected. Roseville High School is currently updating its technology to Windows 10. Math teacher Chandra Wood experienced some classroom tech difficulties since the update. There is multiple versions of the SmartBoard software out there and so it took probably a week for them to get it all back up and running and hooked up to the software and rebooted. For me, since I use my smart board every day for every lesson, um, I had to switch over and use some other resources and technology um, to make sure that I was able to get my lessons done. We now go to Dom Taylor for sports. Good morning, welcome to this Friday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Dominic Taylor. Boys golf is currently harboring young and promising talent. We go to Nate Lemos with more. Freshman Natai Zip comes into the season ranked as Roseville's number two golfer. In their first tournament of the year, Zip shot a team low 78. The freshman feels that his success is the result of hard work. It's been really, really a long time coming. I've been trying to work as hard as I possibly can and it feels great that I finally achieved something like this. Zip hopes that his best golf is in front of him. It's been my first year of competitive golf in about five years and I'm really excited to get back into it. It's still kind of working the rust off. Head coach Corey Fukuman feels that Zip is a part of the golf program's bright future. His having him out is definitely kind of helps out the team. He is young, um, he's played a lot of golf, so I think it'll add to our team. I think it'll push our older, older players to hopefully try to get better. Um, and I think he's gonna help us down the road, not only for not only the team, but I think some of the younger players that are coming up behind him. In other sports news, Roseville placed first in points for winter sports in the CVC All Sports Competition. The 29.5 points they scored were anchored by strong performances from boys and girls soccer as no winter team placed below fourth place in league. Overall, Roseville is still in fifth place, but a strong showing from spring teams can boost Roseville's point total into a competitive race for the top spot as overall best sports school. On Tuesday, boys volleyball beat Jesuit 3-0 to improve the 2-0 and Wednesday brought a dominating win from baseball with a 9-0 thrashing of Placer and softball prevailing over Rockland 4-3. Finally, be sure to tune in to EOTSN Tuesday to see Kale Gibson break down the results and highlights of last night's Powderpuff games. And that's all on your home for Roseville High School Sports, top plays, breakdowns, and more. I have the Tiger Sports Network, EOTSN. And now we go over to Jaden Miller with some student opinions. Thanks, Tom. Wednesday was your last chance to buy Sadie's tickets. Admin strongly suggested that student government cancel the dance if they cannot reach the 200 ticket sales. We talked to students about their thoughts and their opinions. Sadie's was canceled due to low ticket sales. How does that make you feel? Um, well, I wasn't planning on going anyways, but I thought it was a good idea. Like, it's, it, it's different. It's not like something that has been, um, not a dance that has been brought up many occasions. So I thought it was cool that they had the chance to even sell as many tickets as they did. They actually are giving refunds back to all the people that bought tickets. How does that change your opinion now? Uh, well, you know what? Whatever. At least they get their money back and don't, like, steal it. So, you know what? Sadie's, what they tried, didn't work, whatever. Life goes on. I think it was a good idea it was canceled because if there wasn't enough people going in the first place, what would there be? What? purpose would it be to have a dance? I mean, it really sucks because like they just brought it back. Like they're like, hey, this cool new idea out of nowhere and I thought it was pretty cool, but I guess 
It was like nobody wanted to go, which sucks because it was a really cool idea. It kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's kind of fair because, well, not a lot of people buy tickets, and others, some people don't have really good grades to go to Sadie's. And like me, some people don't have time, and it does make sense, though. But it still sucks. And that was the sample of some students' opinions. Now we go back to news. Thanks, guys. The guitar program held their annual show last Wednesday. This past Wednesday, students and teachers of the guitar program hosted an evening of fun and music in the form of the yearly guitar show. Guitar student Nathan Ruff enjoyed the experience and was left with a positive impression. Final impression, it was, uh, it was fun. It was, I think, one of our best guitar shows that I've seen. Former head of the guitar program, Brian Hack, continued to show his loyalty and support for the program by attending and cheering on the performers. Everyone had fun, they played great, they had a lot of energy, I heard some great uh, vocal things. Um, I just had a lot of fun. I just wanted to be here and sit in the back and just watch and take it all in. Dance team coaches will host a clinic to give prospective members a feel of the team at the start of next month on April 10th and 12th. Interested students can register for $20. That's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. And remember, we're always on at eyeofthetigernews.com. See you next time. Thank you.